ADOS, proud sponsors of ADOS Addicted to Fishing. I'm Nikki Sindon, and since I could hold a handline, I have been addicted to fishing. Whether it's stray lining for snapper, jigging for kingfish, dropping deep for harpooka, or jumping in and going spearfishing, I love it all. each week as I road trip around the country, travelling to both New Zealand's most iconic fishing destinations and stepping off the beaten track to show just how good Kiwi fishing really is. Whether it's a girls trip, fishing with a local or riding solo, I am on a constant quest to satisfy my insatiable fishing addiction. Welcome to the show this week. I've got my, my mate Luca here, eight years old, really passionate about fishing. And uh, mum and dad have given me permission to pull him out of school for a day so that we can try and get you onto some kingfish. What do you reckon, Luca? Yeah. Are you excited? I'm excited, yes. Good. We've got dad over there, Jason. And uh, we are going to try and put you onto a kingy. Today is all about the kids. Once again, here we are at the Whangaroa Harbour, which is 40 minutes drive north of the Bay of Islands. You can see on the Furuno sounder that the fish is sitting hard on the bottom, so we'll drop all the way back down. When you feel you sink a hit, flick the bail arm over. Hopefully we hook up to some live baits. The plan for today, Luca, is that we're gonna tow these live baits around the rocks and hopefully get you onto a kingy. Mm. Have you done much kingy fishing before? Um, no, not really. It's done a little bit though, eh? A little bit. Yeah, what's your best kingy? An 89 centimetre kingy. It's not a bad fish. Kingfish, or Seriola lalande, a pound for pound one of the toughest fighting fish in the sea and one of New Zealand's most accessible game fish. Getting any nibbles? No. No? So keep, keep winding. Just slowly winding. Yep. This is the creme de la creme of bait fishing. We have got stacks of bait from 14 metres all the way up to 6 metres. Damn. We'll be getting full strings with that. You got a fish there, Luca? Yes, I do. What's happening? This might be a big Jack Mac. Oh, oh it's pulling string. <laughs> it is. What do you reckon it's going to be? Hopefully it's a Jack Mac. Yes. Yeah, Maybe yeah. you got a couple. It's Jack. Oh, you got a few there. No, I got three there. You got three, okay. I got, I got three there. Walk backwards, walk backwards. I got three there. Yes, woohoo! Luca, that's I got awesome. Three. You got three. Okay. On the Fantastic. Floor. Oh, that's what was taking all the line off. <laughs> Luca, you are on fire today. Got another one. It's what I love about Whangaroa Harbour. You can come through here, and nine times out of ten, you can pick up some liveies pretty easily. They just love it in this harbour. Lots of food for them, nice and easy. Woohoo, you've nice got size. another one. Well done, Luca. It's a really nice size one. It is, it's a great size. Look at that, look at your fish. It's a nice sized one. It is. We might use that to catch you a bigger fish. Mm, yeah. Yeah? Cool. Catch a really big kingfish on that. I hope so. Beautiful angling technique there, Luca. Woohoo, oh, you got two. two. So what you do is keep them in the water, you walk over this way, and then... Oh, I lost one. OK. So if you can just... Yep. When I was a kid, the, the one thing that I always wanted to catch was a kingfish. So I thought 
what we could do today is we could tow some liveys around the rocks and sort of close to the cliff edge and the harbour entrance here at Whangaroa. And I reckon that we try and get Luca onto a kingy. And we'll see what we do after that. But let's start with a kingfish. We're on the board so far, aren't we, Luca? We've got yeah. lots of liveys. Got at least 10 liveys in the tank. Yep. So what we're going to do, we've got this nice curved circle hook, and we're going to put it through, up through the live bait. We've got a nice, what's that, a four ounce sinker. And we're just going to tow it along in about two knots behind the boat, hard up against the rocks in the mouth of the harbour. That's where all the kingies hang out and they come in and they sniff around and they're looking for, for some bait. So we're going to put a delicious meal right in front of them. Look how big this fish is. It's big. It is very big. Normally Jack Max come down to about here. This is gonna be a tasty bait for a kingy. Up and in between the eyes. Just like that. Coming up, Luca is on to his first kingy of the day. But will he be able to land it? He's taking a bit of string. He's taking a lot of string. This week on Ados Addicted to Fishing, we're at the entrance of the beautiful Whangarau Harbour with Luca and his dad on a mission to get Luca a kingy. We're loaded with liveys and we're ready for action. do you need a trawl live bait set for kingfish? Well, because our Jack Max, we don't want to drown them, so we're going fairly slow. I'm trying to go sort of one and a half knots to two knots, so I'm just dancing in and out of gear to try and slow us down. So we're at the moment, we're going one and a half to two knots. Got a good feeling about this. Okay, wine, wine, Luca. Lift your rod up and wind down. Woohoo! Nice. Nice and smooth. That didn't take long, did it? No. Beautiful angling there. Looks like you've done this before. Yeah. <laughs> He's taking a bit of string. Taking a lot of string. <laughs> You're doing really well. <laughs> oh. oh, shoot. <laughs> You're all right, mate. You're all right. It's a good fish. Yeah. I got ya. <laughs> A little bit more, Jake. All right. <coughs> okay. <coughs> Hang on. Let him go for a bit. Yep. Now get a wind. <coughs> and pull up. Yep. Get a wind. This is awesome, Luca. This is really cool. <laughs> <sighs> You're doing very well. <sighs> yep. He's going this way. You're doing so well, mate. Well. Okay. And here he is. I can see him. Oh! He's nice. It's a good fish. It's your fish, Luca. Well done. Woohoo! Watch out. Watch out. Woo! 
one. Are you ready? Yeah. You got him? Yeah, I got him. I got him. Woohoo! Woohoo! <laughs> you got your kingy! Wow! What was that like? It was fun. Was it? Yeah. Put up a bit of a fight, didn't they? Yeah. We only had that live bait in the water for what, five minutes? Five minutes, yeah. yeah. Very cool. Well, I reckon we put him back and we try for another one. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> awesome, Lucas, should we do that again? Yeah. Okay, let's there go. That kingy fought really hard. It almost railed me. It was a really tough guy, but I'm ready to catch the next one. It's a soothing kind of madness. My life is facing wild. Slow down, chaos. Turn it around. It's a soothing kind of madness. Okay, let's throw this one into free spool, because I think he might be getting eaten. Yeah, yeah. Okay, one, 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 one. Yeah. Nice. Oh, you're gone. Oh, oh no. No, he's still not. there. He's still there. Okay, lift. He's just woken up again. Okay. Yeah, just leave, leave the drag where it is and wind. Yep, yeah, and wind. Woo! <laughs> yeah, and wind. As you lean back and then wind down. Lean back and wind on your way down. Keep going, keep going. I can see it. Can you? I can see it down there. Oh, he looks like a good fish. He does. Don't stop, keep going. It's definitely a kingy. You Is can it? See it. <laughs> Just a little baby. Let's let him go. Just a little bubba. Just a little baby. Yeah. Want to give him a kiss for good luck? <laughs> right. Grow up to be a 20 pounder. <laughs> Tackle tips and tactics brought to you by Smart Marine. Have you got 15 seconds? Do you? Because that's how long it takes to do the maintenance on your boat catch. While your boat catch is mainly aluminium, there are a couple of little metal parts. So my advice is to give them a quick spray with Noxy from CRC. It's your multi-purpose lubricant. This means that all the moving parts are going to move freely. Just completely spray and then wipe off the excess. And if you have sand or grime that gets in there, then just spray it with a high pressure hose and then lubricate. For all your fishing needs, head on down to your local Smart Marine store. Coming up, Luca and his dad deal to some Fongaroa kingies. Oh, he's a big one. Oh, he's huge. This week we're out of Fongaroa Harbour and we're on a mission to get Luca his first kingie. But he's not the only one getting into the action. Did I tell you that I'm a part-time dentist? No. Yeah, I'm a fish dentist. Oh. <laughs> there we go. I'll give him a kiss for good luck, Luca. Mm -hmm. Do you want to give him a kiss? <laughs> All right. Yeah, good stuff. Luca's mum became a good friend of mine through... Same thing. Same thing, just Hayley brought Luca along to one of my seminars and then 
Hayley and I just became good friends and one thing led to another and she said, I've never caught a marlin. And I said, well, we better change that. So had an amazing day on the water, took her out and decided to enter an all girls team at the Hokora One Base last year. Ended up getting two marlin. And within the first four hours on the four, first morning, we got Hayley her first mile and it was really special. It's probably, for me personally, it was probably the best day's fishing I've had of the whole of last year. Because I'd given myself this challenge to try and get a mile in with just the girls on board, just the four of us girls, and yeah, we nailed it. Hooked up, Jace. My turn. Your turn, Dad's turn. Luca, how lucky are you that your dad takes you fishing all the time? That's pretty special. Yeah, it's cool. Jason's using my new energy concept rod. Nice and light, but it's got heaps of power to lift that kingy. Coupled up with the Talica 12 is just match made in heaven. Got 50 pound rainbow braid. So we know what depth we're fishing. Recipe for success. Oh, he's a big one. He's it's looking good. Oh, he's huge. Woohoo! Not a bad kingy. You just want to walk backwards? Might even be the same one as. No, that's bigger than my one. Mm. Woohoo! Yeah, yeah. You can see these beautiful circle hooks just placed nicely in the corner of the mouth. Almost a bit too nicely. Woohoo! Is this your PB? I think it must be. Woohoo! Yeah. That's fantastic! Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. Very cool. It just shows how effective live baiting close to the rocks can be. And us Kiwis are so lucky that we've got so much coastline to fish from. Should we put him back in the water? Most definitely. Come on, mate. Open up to me. Come on. Open up. Open your face up. Pretty much true. Uh... What are you watching? I'm just watching the outrigger clip. It's bouncing back and forward because there's a predatory fish that's freaking out our bait. See how it's bouncing back and forth? Yeah, see it now. So it looks like it, he's gonna start taking line any minute. And that's how we know we've got a fish on. Come on, take him, Mr. Kingy. Okay, look, you need to wind as soon as I put this in. Got to keep the tension on it. Okay, take my hand. Take, take this. Keep winding while I put it in. Wind, 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 wind. Good man. Keep winding. Real. Go, go, go. Wind, wind, wind. Keep winding. Wind your heart out. Pretend it's smiling. Go, 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 go. Your fish, mate. <laughs> Doing so well. Good stuff. Wind your heart out if you can, Luca. Wind, wind, wind. Oh. Oh, okay, walk back with Luca. Walk back oh, he's behind nice. Me. Watch out, guys. He's a really nice fish. That is one big fish. That is a big fish. Well done. Woo. Congratulations, Luca. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> that one. Did you catch this? Yeah, I caught that. Just 
expressed them on you there. Yeah. Woohoo! Woo! <laughs> Look at it, it's fantastic! Woohoo! Really That's nice amazing. fish. amazing! That looked like it was a bit of a struggle. Yeah. Well done, mate. That's a beautiful fish, nice and fat and plump. It's a couple of times there I thought you might be going into the water. So did I. <laughs> Thanks for watching Ados Addicted to Fishing. We hope that you've enjoyed the show today. Thanks for coming with us, Luca. Thanks for having me. You're welcome. Should we put this one back? Yeah. All right, let's do yeah. it. Here, Kia and Catch, brought to you by Trade Zone. Let's do the rig that we used in today's episode. First of all, we grab our Suffolk Superior 150 pound. Now we're going to use mm, almost a metre of that. So what we're going to do is we're going to grab our 8 burrow VMC circle hook and we're going to put the crimp on first and then the hook and then go through the eye of the crimp, pull it down and just before we, we crimp it off we're going to burn it. The reason we do this is so that it can't come through our crimp, so that our crimp comes loose for whatever reason. I'm going to pull that nice and tight. And then we're going to crimp it. Making sure that we don't go over the edges of the crimp, because we wouldn't want that to cut into our mono. So that's the first end. Then we're going to come down to the other end, and we're going to pop our other crimp on. It's a 200 pound swivel that we're using today. And then we're gonna feed it back up through the crimp and then burn it again. Now all of these products are available from your local Smart Marine store. So we're gonna do the same, we're gonna give it the old burn. I'm gonna pull it through and we're gonna crimp it off. So this can then be attached to the main line. In this particular episode we've used, we've got our two live baits out on our outriggers and we're trolling them in nice and close. We've used a six ounce sinker on the main line above the swivel for one of our live baits and we've used four ounce on the other. Reason for the difference in weight is that we want one live bait to be sitting slightly higher in the water column and one slightly lower. And that is how we do it. For all your engineering needs, head in store or order online at tradezone.co.nz. Check out our YouTube and Facebook page for complete episodes, competitions and all your fishing updates. ADOS Addicted to Fishing is proud to be with Extreme Boats powered by Honda Marine. And we tow it around with our Ford Ranger. Smart Marines supply us with our Shimano Tackle and we find the best fishing spots with our Furuno. We cook our catch thanks to barbecues and more and clean up using Bosch hot water products supplied by our local Chester's plumbing store. We keep up to date with New Zealand Fishing News magazine and it all sticks together thanks to ADOS.